Howdy folks, Charlie here from Christmas on Crestline. Thanks for tuning in to a product review. We're going to continue down our journey of summertime, springtime, outdoor lighting. We've got the smoker going, we got some chicken and some pork on there, and it's time for us to add some lighting to our backyard. These are going to be a unique lighting that we've never reviewed before. These are from Novtech. These are a G40 Fairy Light very light bulb. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a comparison also to last week's episode about our retro bulbs, which you can see hanging up above me. Uh, so we're going to get these unboxed for you real quick. We're going to talk about these are IP65 rated and you can get these folks for underneath $35. Tune to the end of the video. Got a cool shout out bringing a new person on to our Patreon family. Who is it? Find out at the end of the episode. If you already have outdoor patio lights, what kind do you have and what's your favorite part about it? Are they retro? Are they globe? Are they string lights? Are they fairy lights? What kind of patio lights do you already have? What's your favorite part? All right, let's get these bad boys out of the box and see what they look like. Okay, got a user's manual, user's guide here comes in a few different uh, languages all right and we got the uh, I'm curious to see if these bulbs are attached already or not and they are okay very nice some will just come with the strings and a sack or bag or box of light bulbs that you have to do yourself and it looks like it comes with some extra bulbs right there okay all right so let's get these all out of the box and get a closer look at them after reading the owner's manual, there's nothing out of the ordinary on here. They just remind folks that the fairy lights that are inside here are not replaceable. Should they go out for any reason, the whole bulb is trashed and you can't replace that. You can replace the bulb by ordering a new one. You cannot replace yourself the fairy lights that are inside the bulb. The first step in any new bulb is testing it before we hang it. So I'm going to get these all out, plug them in, make certain that they work. One trick to adding exterior outlets to your home is to change your porch light fixture. I picked this up at a hardware store for about $70 last year and it comes with two built-in GFCI outlets. I'll leave the link here in case you're interested in seeing that video and what all it does. There's actually three different ways you can add exterior outlets to your home. This is just one of them. But for me, this allows me to hang outdoor lighting without having to hire an electrician and go through all that expense. This is nice, easy, and it does the trick time to see if these lights work nope got one bulb out here don't i yep and that folks is oh no it just needed to be screwed in okay all right they all work and it does say in the manual if you have one that is a little bit dim just to make sure that they're all tied in they're all screwed in correctly man is that not just a pretty look i'm gonna go ahead and hang these and then we're going to compare these to the retrofits, the, the, the vintage lights, and we're going to talk about some specs on this and when are they on sale? I'll tell you. So for me today, I'm going to install these 27 inches apart per line. I'm going to use some 25 pound rated ceiling hooks here. I'm going to put this on my pergola frame and we're going to get these all nice and hung. One downside to these lights is you can only hook up one set at a time. You cannot hook up multiple sets at the same time. So in the end, I broke three. Uh, these are not shatterproof, these are glass. So the three replacements they came with are dang handy. Uh, if any more go out, then I'll need to order replacement parts.
pro con time. So pro, they're IP65 rated. So you can have them out in all four seasons. You can have them out in any climate. They are not going to worry about water or solids. They're IP65, so they're power jet proof, waterproof, and they're also solid proof. So you can have them outside without having to worry about any issues. Pro, these actually are glass and they actually are a true fairy light inside of the globe. I love G40 globes, these are there. And you can also repurpose these should you decide, I don't like these, take them on out. You can repurpose the string to use for something else, a different decorating project, Christmas maybe, I don't know. But you can also repurpose these and order different bulbs should these go out on you. A big pro is that these have been on Amazon long enough that they have over 4,000 reviews. Of those 4,000 reviews, they average 4.5 stars. So there's been enough data that's come in that says these things are of value. So that's a pretty big plus. Con, not shatterproof as we found out today. So you gotta love Karma. I broke three, they provided me with three extras. So I was able to replace those without having any exposed sockets. Uh, so that kind of sucks. Well, if you're curious about what the interior of one of these bulbs look like, uh, it's a copper wired bulb with uh, LED diodes. I guess, yeah, LED diodes on the inside. It's surrounded by actual glass. Kind of a con, depending on what you need these bulbs for, they don't connect multiple strings together. When they stop, they stop. There are two links to this. You can get the 38 feet for $36, or you can get the 58 feet for $52. They are currently 20% off on the link I have down in this video's description below. So if you like fairy lights, you like globes, and you like the fact that they actually are glass, and you have the link that you need, then I'm going to go ahead and recommend that you get these. The con is you cannot connect more together. So if you're stuck with what you order as far as length and as far as need. So make certain that the length you order is the length that you can use. Pro, they're fairy lights, which are dang neat. If you have no experience in fairy lights, that's the style. Sometimes they're called firecracker lights as well. But these have a neat kind of an orangish glow to them. I'm excited to see what they look like uh, tonight when it gets dark. Shout out time to our newest Patreon member, Harold Phelps. Harold came on as a $5 a month supporter. And when you come on as a $5 a month supporter, you get your name shouted out. But before I do that, uh, for Patreon family members, I'll be doing a comparison. These bulbs today, which we learned are not shatterproof versus last week's retrograde, which are shatterproof. I'm gonna get on my ceiling of my roof. Do roofs have ceilings? I'm gonna get up on my roof and I'm going to slam down on the concrete one of the bulbs from last week to see if it actually is shatterproof. So check out our Patreon page to see how that test turns out. I'm curious myself. Shout out though to Harold Phelps and when Harold became a $5 a month Patreon supporter, he triggered two things. One, he automatically gets our ringtone from Zedge for free and two, he gets his name shouted out. Harold Phelps! Harold Phelps, our newest Patreon member. Thank you so much for coming on. He typed in patreon.com and then he typed in Christmas on Crestline and found us and became a $5 a month Patreon member and helped support the show. Keeps the light on, as they say. That's about it for me today, guys. Thanks for sticking around and watching the review. I appreciate that about you. Let me know what you think of these. I'm Charlie. I'll see you in the next video.